Hey, all right, let's take a look at the new Tally Arbiter version 1.4. So the first thing you're going to see is that there is a brand new look to the interface. So shout out to Matisse for taking the time to make this uh, and convert the framework over to Bootstrap so everything looks nice and modern and it's a lot easier to use. So here on the home page of my Tally Arbiter server, now you'll see that there is a QR code. And if you were to scan this QR code with your phone, it will take you straight to the Tally page. Uh, you can also get to it here on the menu, but if you're trying to uh, let people on your production team quickly connect to your Tally server, and maybe your uh, server is hosted locally with a long IP address or something, this is a quicker way for them to get to it. So first off, let's take a look at the Tally View page. It's been redone. Uh, here on desktop, you'll see that your uh, still have the option of the menu at the top and you can choose your device. Um, on mobile the menu will go away but you can still pick your device. So I'm going to choose camera one here and it happens to be in program right now. It's going to tell me the name of the camera and the description that I gave it. Um, the other thing that this will do on mobile is that if you if your device supports it, it will vibrate. when It'll do a long vibe when it's in program and a pulse vibe when you're in preview. So that should help your phone operators just get a bit of a heads up uh, that they're about to be used or they're currently on air. So that's that page. That's pretty cool. This is the producer page. And you'll remember that in Tally Arbiter 1.3 we added authentication for both the producer pages and the uh, admin settings area. So I'm going to log in there. And you'll see the producer page got a little bit of a redesign. Uh, but again, you can see all the tally data for every device that you have configured uh, and the uh, different listener clients that are connected. So now let's head over to settings. And again, I'm going to have to log in there. I have it already saved in my browser. So this is the look of the new settings admin page. So we've got our sources and devices. And these are my connected listeners. And it looks like I had, oh, that was my tally page that disconnected earlier. Um, I'm not sending TSL data from this. This is actually my cloud server, so all this data is coming from my local server up to the cloud. Uh, and then my cloud settings. You can see my super secret key there. Um, and then logs and tally data. And you'll see way down here at the bottom is the version number in case you didn't make sure you're on version 1.4. So that's pretty cool. And you know every device now will open up in this nice window. You can hit save if you need to edit a source. You get the modal dialog, so it's just a great interface overall. Uh, another addition to Tally Arbiter version 1.4 is the ability to monitor multiple MEs with your Blackmagic ATEM switchers if they have multiple MEs. So let's just take a look at that. If I go to here, Sources, I'm going to say Add, and I'm going to choose Blackmagic ATEM as my source type. And you'll see the source name, still a choice, IP address. And then you've got this new field, Emmys to monitor. And you're going to want to select the different ones that you would consider to be on-air Emmys for your devices. So for me, I'm going to choose one and three. And you'll see it saves it there. So if I were to hit save and add that, and then if I came in here to a source and added my source from my ATEM with that address, any time it matched one of the Emmys that I've selected to be on-air, then Tally Arbiter will tell you if it's in preview or program for that source. So this is Tally Arbiter 1.4. It's got a few other bug fixes and performance improvements, but it is available now up on GitHub. So go check it out.